So each one check mark at the beginning is one XP. And I'm trying to find the chart of leveling up because for some reason, Roll20 yeeted our last uh, in game thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, so if you want to bring up your weapon skill up to two, that would cost two for both things. And three is an additional four. Uh, you have 57 XP to spend. Now, seven of this has to be in uh, skills only. Then we can level up either your body and your talents with the other 50. I, 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 um, almost, uh, I kept moving and resizing you because you were overlapping with Tomato's hitbox. <laughs> what does initiative? Yes. So if you wanted to bump that up, you gotta put, like, skills into, uh, I think, awareness and mind. Yeah. Um, hello chat, hello, hello, uh, doing, doing things, we are doing good, um, as good as we can be anyway. So like, if you wanted your, uh, when your initiative to go up, you can spend the remaining three starting XP on two points into train awareness. That will double your initiative. Mano? What? Did you hear me? Oh, um, sorry, I was reading stuff. Okay. I said if you wanted to focus on your awareness, you could spend the remaining three XP on awareness. 
and that will double your initiative. Okay. And I'll just check that. So now your awareness went from two to four, as you saw. Yeah. <laughs> is that only in training or like focus? Uh, training. Everything is in training. Okay, so. Focus is focus more... is the dice stuff. It allows you to upgrade your dice. Okay. But yes, all your stats roll off your attributes and your training. So if I was to take away the focus, like one focus from uh, weapon skill and put it into training instead. In which training? For weapon skill? You need four points. That would only give you two free ones. Oh, okay. Now, we're we'll doing it this way just because, yes, you have 50 extra XP to spend, but you still got to spend the seven first. If we had to spend all 50 XP um, right now, it would be worth it. I mean, I could slowly go with him, but I just feel it's fair that, you know, you have to first start with the 7, then go jump into the 50. Yeah. So, we got rid of the 7. Yep. Well, now at the 50. Now you can start putting it into your uh, attributes. And talents. I see them right here. Oh, you're pacing it for them? Yeah. Everywhere. I know. I'm looking at them inside of the book. While y'all do that, we will begin with Frozen. Now, Frozen, I know I went over with you. Um, you could do the stop time and <laughs> the stop. Uh, you could just stop. Um, the chat will get a little bit. Little hold because no one came to the book to talk, but Frozen is aware of what you can and can't do. Good. As you yes. Yeah. Make your nice, comfortable pallet in the embers of the forge. Not to require very much heat, right? Somewhere nice and hot surrounded by fire. I mean, it works. I mean, you're practically immune to fire. <laughs> Yeah, you can sleep in the love if you want. <laughs> yeah, probably not, but... <laughs> God will protect me, Dive! Because <laughs> that, that would burn his, um, like... Butcher's apron that he was wearing. <laughs> Very resistant uh. to fire and probably already resistant to fire. Um... As you are, you know, making your bed, and you are doing your usual thing, Just a singular piece of a heart of the great and the first magic killer. You must ascend this mountain. Slay those and butcher them in my name. And then you must devour that heart. That crystal heart must Do so, and you shall be granted my weapon. A weapon to split the very earth that defiles it.
We don't have a fan. We hear when you touch the mic. <laughs> yeah, and the popping peas. <laughs> Best way to deal with the pop thing is just keep it further away from you. At that point, you don't have some WD-40 lying around? Squeak go eater. And I just bought a bump rocking chair. be done and also uh so there's just just a bit of bookkeeping stuff you're saying that we had 50 xp at some point you're saying that yeah because i do not think i was i've spent 50 xp on stuff i had something marked in the xp for my personal use because i didn't realize yeah, because, um, I eat... Yes. But you farted on those uh, rats really well. <laughs> No, no, it was uh, it was uh, when adding it to the already accumulated XP it was fifty. Then... Oh, oh. Oh, okay, okay. Because I'm fr I've uh, with everything together. Between the starting XP for Fire Belly and then the 15 that I was told last session, I've spent like 21 of the possible 50, apparently. So I've just got like another 29 sitting around waiting to be used. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and treat it. Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, I'm sorry to bring everything right into a halt there, but you know, it's just like 50 XP. Where Where is this coming from? So I've got another 29 XP to spend here. We cropped it already. We were gonna scratch his head with his ass, but I don't care. I can still use it as a dwarf thing. No. We'll use it as bait to get the dwarf things to come to us. That's neat. Like to be used. Yeesh. He shrugs and haphazardly tosses the egg and <laughs> it implodes its tip luckily. Magnagrel says the nine is destructible. More boys that they'll put as living proof that they were once men. Because uh, I was reading the rules for the lava hammer that got you to death, and you just made a cave before it instantly kills you. <laughs> the only one to pass his face if he was a witch into the magma. So 
Abram Grumps. And then Grumhouse came into play. <laughs> It's an Easter egg. <laughs> Grumhouse 2 is really smart. Uh, Grumhouse 2 was born. Not, not, not made. Not because it existed and he's just now choosing to tell his name. No, he was born as he climbed out of the lava after helping the party fight the villain, Magnetron. As he claimed out of the lava. Dogzag, who is controlled by Grumhouse 2. The other Dogzag is this dude that jumps up over a rock and has long flowing hair and he's just supposed to fit into whatever y'all are making. In fact, he's a rock and he's just supposed to fit into whatever y'all are making. There we go. This is his new token because Sonic got mad. <laughs> Can't open up his character sheet. <laughs> Grok. Grok? No, no, the goblin. Oh, the goblin? Yeah, it's all day. This is really interesting. We have to wear some of the same clothes as the goblin. Are you just not wearing the same livery? Mm. I think so. There we go. Develop, and that he has no backstory. His backstory is that he is not there. And he loves his pet squid that he named Lizzie. That got bored. <laughs> That's what the mushrooms are. Those are those are Lizzie. That's what kept them there. Because they got bored. Don't worry, Mittens is being regrown. Minutes is like uh, Fallout 3, some uh, dog meat. Uh, once you take the... <laughs> you take the new perk. Just wait three these... days, he'll come wandering up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, dogs that gets on top of him and he's like, ah, I'm more confident now. And then he's fine because he's all like, oh god, now I just create two things. So one of them is miserable, one of them's a different one of like, I'm being more confident. And he's only confident when Mitten alive, but each time Mittens <laughs> dies, he just turns to their face and he's like, Wah! and all the time. <laughs> because Mittens will control all. <laughs> but nah. You guys also will be able to hunt down the other NPCs that you guys fought in the jungle. And if you're not trying to like hunt them down, you won't end up like hunting them down. You'll just kill them. Dog, the man in parallel. <laughs> and here is Grog's backstory all over again. Now go ahead and do it. Grog, the man in parallel. As a young and ferocious schoolboy boy, was not born into this world as a nameless kid. Was not born into this world as a nameless kid rose to prominence in the youth of the Grumhouse Theater, prowess and battle, and an inexplicable place to be born. In the dark and twisted swamps of Durham, he emerged as a formidable, a formidable gutman, wielding his barbed spear with unrivaled power. Born under the dark city 
one of the things that the Lord had to say was this. One who speaks to me is marked as an unprepared child. He's out in the middle of the night. He's in the middle of the night, I say, to his mentor. Okay, so I'm not sure. The reputation preceded him as Paul had the bar and marked by his great stories. The stories of Paul's daring and courageous life spread among the tribes of Israel. So are we going to count Philip? The book of Count Philip was the party leader. A profound hero was hated and received as godless with abuse and denial. His lustful and fiery temperament left him unused for a while. The heroes in Dyer and Nathan found themselves in a clash of fortune. The Magi. The Magi. But <coughs> were struggling to overcome a demented prophet. Thus, Intertron began a journey drawn to the thunderous roars of Magadar heroes to make an opportunity to meet the king of Israel, charge himself into the fray, bring forth the king's party, and win him over. I think the classic experience the Magadar show draws the term attention from the current conversation to a different adult stage the monstrous youth. In a climactic moment, as the Magadar rears back, ready to make a devastating new black molten rock. <coughs> Trog sees the opportunity and slumps, launching himself to join the people. <coughs> it breaks his boat and the net, and with a mighty thrust and a great bellow of bars, he plunged his barred spear deep into the heart of the youth, unleashing a primal roar as the Magadar let out his final agonizing Trog demon hunter emerged as the hero of the night, hearing the victory of a profound hero, grateful for his personal failure, but heeding his youth's warning. The party recognized Trog as the Magadar, <coughs> and got to party. And they bonded for another week while the king of Galtron traveled alongside the party. His name echoed in through the realm as a champion who took prowess in the battle of the night, only by his loyalty to those who fight for right. The thirst for glory remains unquenched, driving him to seek out new challenges and ways to relieve his stress, ever ready to struggle <coughs> for that which is best. <coughs> he has a very his own set of difficulties. He's just like he's no good with this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. to prepare for a value based system that I don't want to prepare that is decidedly more than similar to what I have in my head. It's just <laughs> not my thing. So, thank God. Yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where was I? Almost. Let me be a real fast. <laughs> I am. I had a small nap. <laughs> I'm still doing my stuff. Yeah, just remember Cold Rule Book 541 is where you're going to find the XP cost. Oh, I removed the notification that there was a new one. Oh, because it shut me out of it. Try to do more of this stuff. In this zone with me, he, I like him, he shall be my friend.
as is natural. I do.
All right. I can at least speak for myself. Yeah, just do what I do. Yes. <laughs> I know it's terrible. I mean, yeah, it's really, it's also the fact that the apron that I got is essentially one of the spells I could cast, but just always going. It's like, hmm, never really going to have a reason to cast that spell again outside of unforeseen circumstances where I lose my nice magical item. <laughs> That's like frozen. Yeah, you see, I have a ninety-nine percent resistance to fire. I'm only taking up one percent damage from fire. Ever since everything <laughs> rounds down, so. I wonder if you can be a hundred percent immune to something. I mean, the magma droth was. <clears throat> you didn't see me throwing fire at the thing, did you? I said you uh, as a player. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm innately resistant, and then I have the apron. Mm. I was just making the joke. It's like I have half of a half of a half of a half. Because <laughs> that's usually how game some games do their resistance. It's like you are half. But then you take that half and you half it. Then you take that half and half it. <laughs> I was like, that's just a lot of math. Well, I thought it was, I was misreading because, you know, I'm still somewhat waking up. And I thought it was saying Gr Grom Hellscream is undead. <laughs> Hopefully I'll... What is I'll ever be. Yeah. And I gotta heal myself up. Hang on.
And how are you doing, yes, uh, Tomato? Um, um, I don't even almost. see you anymore, so I can't even help you. <laughs> almost done. Oh, that's my skeleton horse. I mean, I can quickly help with the math <laughs> once yeah, I see been... him. I've been using a calculator to keep track. And I got... We've tried, it's buggy. No, I mean, I mean, you just say everyone has to download the app on your computer and open it that way. Alright, I've spent everything and I have one XP left. Uh, what? 
I thought skills were two. No, starting skill is one. Oh, starting skill is one. Okay. Um, let's see. They spend to each level of body and mind. Where's determination? No, reflects, reflects those. So defense. I spent all my, I have spent all my points, and my melee and defense are both superb now. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Set up everything how I wanted it to be. Probably making uh, uh, let's see. I was probably doing some maintenance on my gear, maybe channeling, focusing, or practicing combat maneuvers that I remember from my life. Yeah. Maybe some spells, some combat fighting, you know, just basically things to remember. Mm. All right. Oh, man, I just realized that Grum probably doesn't have all of his XP spent either. Nope. Uh, and uh, hey, look, uh, if he survives this, he'll truly have earned it. I cannot find my initiative. Oh. Yeah. Did it work? Okay. 
probably. Wait, what? Those BWs retarded. <laughs> well, never you sold this to me as a completely original idea. Yes, I can definitely understand that, because I know how uh, territorial GW is with their IPs. Just want one game that's not for just, like, one, like, mod, whatever, that puts, like, a bolter somewhere where it has the bolter sound effect correct. That's all I need. <laughs> but that will never happen. I mean, didn't the first Dawn of Wall do that pretty good? I mean, yeah, however... That's still a GW project. Oh. Because I was going to say, a lot of the other GW games don't seem to do that just right. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I, I've, I've got Bolt Gun. <laughs> yes. Where it is. I already have. I have three armor, I don't know where to put it. Like, I put the armor in, but I don't know where to type in my armor. Um, I put the three in there. Well, so on the bright side, I did at least spend Grum starting uh, XP, so yeah, he's I not completely fresh. Yeah, I put it down here, because I didn't know where to put it. Yeah, so he's got 50 more XP to spend because I've only spent his starter XP. Or did you spend more of his XP? Okay, cool. So I spent his starter XP, which means he has 50 more XP to go through. Alright, let's pull back up the books. Uh -uh. I got intimidating manner. Oh, okay.
Oh, here we go. All right, even. <laughs> he actually he beat me. <laughs> so Throg's up first. <laughs> Should I just sit back and then watch everything? No, it's fine. Has no one spent his XP? What you gonna do? <laughs> oh, okay. I see how it is. First things first, I see I have some unwelcome visitors at the base of my stairs here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna go ahead and cast a spell at them. Let's see here, and I'm going to use my focus to bump up for three successes. And is that group of marauders is that a swarm or are they separate entities? Okay. Okay, so boost it up to three, yep. So yeah, so altogether that's six damage. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and spend a metal, or if like, I, are they still around? Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. I will come out of the tent, pretty much shouting war cries. And then, let's see here. I will then spend a metal, and I'll go ahead and cast it again. I'll cast. Yes, this time on who? This time I'm going to go ahead cast it on to this guy, this group here with the Bliss Barb Archers. Yep. Yeah, and I, I, I don't want them to be here, so I'll go ahead. Are they also a swarm? Alright, so then that is four. Bump that up to five successes. So they'll be taking ten damage. By the way, the uh, DN increases, but for resisting increases by one because of one of the talents I got. Because one of the talents that I got was potent spells. Oh, okay. So I have three re three thing trainings into channeling. <laughs> but do they have to beat my successes? 
And then they, oh, well, no, they didn't, because then they would have to beat five because he used my focus to bump it up to five successes. Uh, uh 10 damage, because they're a swarm. All right. So, yes, crashing out of the tent. I wanted them gone. Again, crashing out of the tent, there's just a whirlwind of fire that goes down the stairs. And afterwards, I'm going to shout out, The gods warned me about you! And that'll be my turn. Oh, very good. Yes. What's the tiebreaker for initiative? Oh. oh. Okay. Uh, the fiends and the blood reapers. That's just a lot of ties. <laughs> it's just like 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Uh, sounds right. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Just seven, then the one for the weapon. Yeah, that's eight. <laughs>
Yeah, I, I was just saying I'll mount on my turn. So that means my defense and melee go down by one. Don't mind me accidentally doing that. Okay. All right. Yep. Uh, what's their attack? Okay. That's one above me, so they're rolling at a three. Spending XP for Grum. Ow! Alright. Well, you put me in uh, wounded. So I take a minor wound. Oops, that's a wrong button. <laughs> no, I am just wounded. I get uh, one wound. <laughs> no, I can only take four more wounds. <laughs> yep. I might be dead soon. How would that ability work with a ghost? Because I'm pretty sure I know what ability you're worried about. <laughs> I, I I know. I, I know. It's like, how does that work?
One of the twelves hit me. <laughs> so he didn't get to, uh that one's in Frozen's territory. Actually, I just realized I forgot to add, remove my damage from armor. <laughs> I assume the weapons are magical, though, because demons. Yep. That's a shame. So I have two toughness now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no! I don't know because I don't know if he had any XP spent. The last we checked, he was at like average. It... Oh no! no. It... Well, goodbye, Zogzag. Yeah, Zogzag, I think is dead because. Uh... It's okay. We'll, we'll get another grot. Two. We'll get another grot. <laughs> Yes, because uh, you just instantly obliterated his uh, he, his uh, toughness, and he was still wounded from last time, so he's now at five. This is... Damn it, I need a new I need a new helper, Grot. Oh, how do I chop one of their arms off that I can grab this weapon and use it for myself? Fuck. No Black Crusade you could if the demon disappeared with the weapon still around. <laughs> Oh, so you're saying I took an extra point of damage because you bumped it up before any of us dying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. This means I can't get hit by any of the next- I have to kill both Blood Reapers this turn. <laughs> I'm dead because I can't take another hit from them. <laughs> yep. 
right, I'm going to use. I mean, I can uh, quick mount, right? Uh, because I'm a master at it. Alright, I'm going to do that. Well, that bumps my weapon and uh, defense up by one because I'm mounted. So you said their defense was good? Alright. Alright, then I'm rolling on the two. And... I have something special! Warrior Elite, so that's an extra plus two damage because I have two focus. And... Yeah, the one that attacked me, and I'm gonna bump up two of those fives to sixes so I can win two armor points if they have any. Alright. Oh, I've been meaning to ask, does, uh, would Grom get any uh, sub-faction bonus? So that is 10 points of damage with armor rending of 2. <laughs> I'm just saying, as I'm striking down, it says, Tell Korn to fuck off. I'll crump him too. <laughs> I'm going to spend one of my metals to attack this other one. Because I'm like, that hurts. <laughs> and I don't want to. Uh, uh, I, I have one more metal to spend if I want. <laughs> I... This thing could kill me next... Uh, in this turn. So... No, I killed the one that already attacked me. Oh. Can I attack it before it attacks me if I don't attack it? Yes, yeah, so I still need to kill it. <laughs> uh. Like again, I will bump that 2201. And, uh, yeah, that 1 to a 2. And so 10 points of damage. Uh, I'll grab another 6. So 2 armor pin, just kill it out, right? And I'm gonna go again. What is the defense on this one? Actually, actually, ch -ch -ch -ch. I might want to use my healing up effect. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Well, you can bump that 5 to a 6. Yep. <laughs> you can do that so you don't explode. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, that will bump me up by one wound, or uh, one toughness, so, okay. Yep. 
Um, it also, I guess, allows me to summon a zombie. Well, if there was a corpse nearby, <laughs> I guess. You could use. Oh no! Then again, Zogzag was thrown thrown into the lava. <laughs> He doesn't yeah. need a head, he's a zombie! <laughs> where was those, uh, where was those, uh, archers? One of them is now a zombie. <laughs> well, just, um... Uh, I was just going to... I don't expect it to last this thing, so this is just a zombie token for right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I... Oh, wait, that's nine tells Yeah, so I'm pet, sure but... the, ca the Chaos Lord is just going to casually backhand it into the, into the lava. Yeah. <laughs> going to be like, this is Cornland. <laughs> He might just tell one of the blood letters to kill it. <laughs> yep, that's my turn. Uh, I didn't want to spin any of them. Um, what's it called? The wog, because I'm the only injured one. An additional dice to its attack and reduces defense by one. Oh boy, choices. My defense is great. I knew pumping reflex would be a smart idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is now. Any fancy stuff on sixes? Oh, okay. I'm trying to remember what the gut for the uh, apron exactly the exact wording of it was. I didn't think it gave, oh, there we gave go. you any armor. The armor splits. Spits flame when hit, trying to burn everything within reach, even its defensive aspect. Uh, okay, I have not haven't suffered a wound yet, so that's what total damage. All right, and the the uh, well, if I remember correctly, was medium armor. The apron. From my yeah okay so medium armor so that drops it down to five okay. Did you take your gut plate off? You better not have. Oh yeah, yeah. So then, three damage. Yes, yes. I still have my gut plate. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I will never take yeah. this gut plate off. That is a very big taboo in ogre society. It's my gut plate. <laughs> 
All right. Awesome. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Born. <laughs> Instant death. I don't... I need to look at the ruling for charging again, so... Yeah, I, I thought it was like only your first attack. Alright, charge. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like it's only for the charge attack. Yeah. Okay, it's like because it specifies the attack. All right. Well, that's four successes. All right. So that then it would be. So five successes, DN. Nope. Wait, you said it had to roll. Oh, you bumped up it to a six. Okay. Alrighty then. And then the damage would be five to drop down to three. So this guy, I still killed him, but I only did eight points of damage to him. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, ju I just read the Elite Warrior. It's only one attack that gets the bonus damage. Yeah. I'm gonna name it Fluffy. <laughs> Same wavelengths. We're both bosses of our respective tribes. We shouldn't be fighting. We should kill the humans instead. I think he wants the humans to worship chaos. So he would disagree on you with that one. <laughs>
<laughs> I believe in the zombie. Oh, um, let me look that up real fast. I it's believe in the zombie. Pretty low. <laughs> I don't expect them to have a good defense. <laughs> Yeah, but this is the t timed one. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, they would hit on twos even if it was average. <laughs> um, I No, I believe in the zombie. The zombie's dead. <laughs> Man, not even the Chaos Lord. Yeah, its defense is poor. <laughs> it only had one toughness. They're meant to be they're meant to be used in a swarm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, basically the zombies get to do the blood litter thing. <laughs> Just instantly kills mortally wounded. <laughs> Understandable, that is a slimish. <laughs> uh, it's great. But from now on, now magic is reduced by one die. <laughs> so... Most likely not. <laughs> so am I in range there? 
Yes, you are. Okay. poisoned I guess not because I'm a skeleton at least on on like a lot of things that are marked as undead like chain uh, chain rasps they're immune to undead they're immune to poison okay let me just double check Uh, I, 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 my right skill would come in play as well. I think, like, once a turn, I can remove one effect. Mm. Death dies by one. Yep. Uh, I hope you at least spent the uh, the XP for Damon for a good old throg over there. Mm. Okay. Poor Zog's hack. Uh, I'm sure there was extra. another goblin from Zogzag's tribe that we could, that would be better for crafting. Yeah. Uh, I mean, hey, whatever. I don't. Man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so it takes me down to two toughness. Oh, one toughness. No, stay away from me. Bad fiend. <laughs> do, I, do I need to make another save for the scream? Oh, okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, they get make you horny so you can't fight. And you said determination. Uh. All right. 
I mean, just needed the pass once, right? Okay. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Betrayal. Oh, man, that's insulting. Wait, no, stop! <laughs> no, go back to the orc! Free. Free. Stop it. No! Stop it! Okay, well now I'm insulted. It's gonna eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me, you bastard! Don't you dare just walk past me! Alright. Oh, Grum's defense is great. Points of damage that almost one shots Grog. Grum. All right. Minus whatever armor he had on. He has one armor. Good old war paint. <laughs> yes. Oh wait, he, he there was, are multiple he, tiers of war paint, each corresponding with with heavy, medium, or light armor. Oh, so he didn't get the two that no they normally start with? Oh, yeah. Alright, he gets one more. He gets one more toughness back. Good for you, Grum. Yes, yes it is. Otherwise, Grum might be dead. <laughs> yeah.
But as, as it's doing the seductive thing, it's like, if you want to fuck, get off the battlefield. <laughs> Stop it! All right, so first things first, uh, he's going to want to do a, a uh, Defiant Wah. So we all get toughness back equal to the current Doom. Yep. Let me just... Three there. Three there, all right. He's going to go ahead and he's going to take a swing at the, uh, the Blood Letter here. Very good. Right. So what is the blood letters defense? Our blood reaper. Oh, oh would you look at that? Uh, Grum's hitting on twos. Look, my buddy plays corn on the tabletop, and I always make the joke of, okay, cool, so you have the blood skull, blood skullers, and the skull blood skull blooders. You have the blood this, blood that, blood everything. Oh, yeah, just gonna go ahead and use a three focus to bump those three ones up, so eight, nine uh, damage total. I shall name all my demons blood or something. <laughs> yep, and so then Grum's gonna wander on out here. He's gonna try and help me out with the brute here. What's the defense of the Brute? Those are the Slaughter Brute. Okay, cool. So it's another group of twos. And he's going to go ahead and swing here. By spending a metal. Gonna... Let's see. So bumping that up to a, for another 8 successes for another 9 damage. And he has a couple extra talent or focus points if he wants to, if he gets anything with his F now. Okay. So yeah, that's 9 damage onto the uh, Slaughter Brute. Very good. What's the bad? Oh, okay. All right. 
right, very good. Very good. Yeah. All right. No, no, you can just continue to sit back there and look bored. Yeah, I know. Yep, that'd be Grum's turn. He only has one medal. I throw to God Throg, if you die to these guys, I'm going to be so disappointed. <laughs> Throg, if you die to these people after killing the Magma Droth, I will be so disappointed in you. probably looking at the goblin skull and wondering if it's worth anything <laughs> to corn. They're just passing the body back and forth. They're pra yeah, practicing for next week's big game. <laughs> Still, to be fair, still very much trying to kill each other, both on the field and off. It's higher because they're rolling on a six. So you said you used a soul fire frozen? Uh, yeah, Grum used a, a walk to give everybody three toughness. Alright, I'll bump the walk down by one. Well, they tried. Disappointing, Throg. This is disappointing. Shameful. Shame. I'm over here wrestling a slaughter brute, and he gets hit by a marauder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God. They're actually blood under horrors. They split and split again. This guy? I don't know. He was there. I'm like, you're, you're the GM. You tell us. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Yeah. 
my fiend. These are Frozen's blood letters. Frozen didn't have fiends. So th maybe that's Frozen's fiend right there. Why yeah. would you give me the insta kill monsters? Uh. How could you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they killed the goblin, I was distracted, what's going on? <laughs> Sorry boss, I was sleeping. That's nine damage. So he, he's out of toughness now. I have a feeling we're going to be spending a lot of our soul fire in this battle. Maybe. Oh, Grog might be dead uh, because if that blood letter, the second one attacks. <laughs> Fancy. I will take that shield from your corpse. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yep. <laughs> uh huh. All right. My armor just clinks right off. <laughs> they just clink right off my armor, and I just laugh at them. All right, Throg. <laughs> I, I've lost the roll. Oh, there's the terminal. Sorry. <laughs> I forget you can close, uh, minimize it. Odd, is that you? Oh. Uh... 
I guess I could. <laughs> what are we feeling lucky about? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I do have Intimidation. What's Intimidation go off of? Soul? Soul. Okay, well, I have three Soul. I have three Soul and one Intimidation, so I'll have four dice. What do you have? <laughs> I just re <laughs> Grum has two Soul, but he also has three Training and one Focus in it. <laughs> Let's let Grum do it. <laughs> So I put my faith in Grum. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> DN4. The boss is under attack. Alright, he gets three of them. Alright. <laughs> Those are Iron Jaws! <laughs> Arrow! These are my arrow boys. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. All all evidence shows that they arrived at the same time as Tomato, so they are his boys. Oh, that's weird. It didn't change my name. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, it says Grimgore. Oh, that in the to, lava? <laughs> do I have to refresh my thing? Okay. I saw an oak in the lava! Sorry. I, I don't see. Oh. Ooh. Um. I don't know, because now I feel bad. So the um the full image I don't mind, but the um 
the token, I think we're gonna keep it with this one. I would say you, you only get custom art for people you know are gonna stick around. Like, they have to be at least uh, two games in. Uh... No, 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 no. I mean, when I say two games in, I mean, like, they have completed two games. <laughs> I don't know. Give me a minute. I'm changing the name because for some reason it still didn't change for me. There we go. I just did. Seize the initiative right now. I shall. What does that even do? There you go. Iron Sons. It's pretty damn good. Oh, you're in the stinky zone. I mean, we kind of had this barrier. <laughs> oh, they're like, you're in the stinky zone. I was like, I have to start here. If this is where the door is. <laughs> yeah. But, um. Who well, that means everything help? is lowered by one. Um. Is this guy still alive? Uh, this guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I just see a bunch of zeros on his name. I was like, this man is dead. Nope. Um, the second bomb goes up. The 12 goes down, the 6 goes up. Oh, okay. Alright, so... It says six. Three. Because I have heavy armor. Okay. 
Oh, I can see it without hovering over it. Okay. Yeah, I have it enabled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does because, um, I, I had that off and like, the Chaos Marauders names are just like... <laughs> Yeah, I always have those on all the time whenever I play. Really? Oh. I have the fun. Yeah, the Fader Future is already on. Uh, mm, yes and no. I, yeah, like, I like the server, and also I like the, like, I don't I, know if I, they actually fixed their dark mode. I don't like the sidebar, but I like how I have the measure system with cones and shapes and other things now. That's yeah. the only thing I like. <laughs> uh, to me, it was already transparent that my block at least was. Maybe I edited mine. Yeah, I like how I can just be like, Wee! Oh, okay. But yeah. Okay, well... This guy's like, really beaten up, so I might go and save him. Um... Uh, Rog. They're talking about Grom, Othrog. So, I'm gonna go that way. Hi yo. Yep. So it's been a metal. I don't know. I think you can you move get it, one move and one, one action. Move. Yeah. And if you want to move an extra zone, you can take an action to go further. 
Okay, so. So I can attack? Yep. Okay. I will use the great chopper on this man. Oh, I just marked it. This one right here. <laughs> so I'm thinking if you kill him, it's like he was about to catch the skull and you kill him and he phases out and the skull goes to the lava. <laughs> um, I'm trying to find it. Button. Oh. You're talking about superb. Rolling on a two. Really? Um. Yeah. Okay. I'm superb. Yeah, because I was like, wait, I was rolling on twos and I have the same. Def <laughs> so target DN is two? Okay, submit. Submit the bonus, nothing. Oh, wait. Oh, so that's how that. Okay, I should probably take the one edit there. So I have. Um, I. Let me finish talking! <laughs> so. I have immense strikes. <laughs> That gives me a plus one damage with melee weapons with the two-handed trait. Yes. So I can plus two and then melee bonus of one. No, no, no. Melee bonus of one is an extra dice. You just need to put that plus one in your damage. So your great weapons or two-handed weapons right should do three. Okay. Because that will literally give you an extra dice. Oh. Turn it in, Steve. Okay. No, because we never implemented the bonus slashing, piercing, blunt rules we were talking about. So, I'm gonna use this. Uh, it, uh, puts on a bleed and I think it knocks them down. <laughs> so it's really strong. <laughs> what? Okay, so... Okay, you need the talent Sever, which requires one training in medicine. You knock the enemy down, and you if they take a move, they suffer one damage that ignores armor. I don't have Sever yet. Okay, so... Yeah. Well, we were going to do the same for bashing and uh, slashing if we were going to bump up piercing. Alright, so if I remember... If I remember correctly... The three focuses is to put into numbers inside of the successes so that they go up, right? Yep. So I see the three ones. I'm going to put, since I have three focus, I can put those three ones into twos so that I have all successes instead of not, um, six. All right, so you do 11 points of damage. Nine. Nine oh, well, successes. Actually. 10, 11, 12. 12, 12 damage.
The only blood will be yours on the floor, and I will use metal to go and smack him in the face too. Yep. Now I'm gonna do the great chopper again. Yep. Ooh. And I put that one into a two. And would it matter if I put those two fives into a six? Okay, well then. Alright. Alright, so that's another twelve. How much metal? Metal? Yeah. So yeah, it's metal. They just say I don't metal. Have no, I use. Uh, um, I don't have any more. I only had one, and I just used it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Nagash, get me six months mo judgment. Ah, oh, fair five months. <laughs> you are fighting chaos. <laughs> it's... Sigmar, that's a funny way of spelling Gorka Morka. Yeah. That's all I can do. There's nothing else. Less talk and more killing. Oh no. Oh, I'm just thinking like, oh, the dog better be killing something fast because he might not be living long if he doesn't. <laughs> Nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's still rolling on twos pretty much. <laughs> Yeah. 
And that's a kill. Yep, that's... Nine damage. Oh, why the, what's this, uh, what's this two-handed weapon doing one-handed weapon damage? Yeah. Yeah, because it's like two handed weapons are supposed to do two extra damage, not one. <laughs> Damn you, World 20. Stop being fucking crap. That's why we're leaving. That's why we're like, <laughs> I don't have to take this. I'm going home. Which is impossible. Yeah. Oh, really? This yeah, doing, because, like, every other thing anything for you. It's like everything else has two for its base damage. <laughs> and magical. Uh, rent would be the only thing you would want it for, because that, then you could just delete armor on a six. Delete. <laughs> like, that's literally the only reason you would take a halberd over a other two-handed weapon. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, you can grab the two-handed weapon and then grab the talent that gives you rend. <laughs> so it's like, at, at that point, it's like, you have two XP, yeah, just buy a great sword or a great axe. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, we were debating how powerful Rend is. <laughs> yeah, and it's only like three weapons core has it. So it's like uh, a lot. Uh, there's a lot more piercing weapons uh, than re. Yeah. That's another kill. <laughs> yep. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, DM2 is scary. <laughs> Very good. Well, first and first, before I forget, I'm gonna have the snarl fang just attack the uh the brute. I believe in you, buddy. I have plans for the minions over there. <laughs> Oh, no, I have plans for that too. Uh, I'll be long as if you didn't, if you don't kill the minions, I was just gonna like thump this thing, spin a middle, thump these, and just look at them and like hand me the shield <laughs> and just point to the lava like give it's me the shield. <laughs> just like you're not even worth my time. Jump into the lava and give me that shield. <laughs> All right. So what's the uh, brute's defense? It, it hasn't had its turn yet from charging, so it's still on four on average, right? Yeah. All right. One success. Good job, dog. Oh, at least I can make um, a body test, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, that's the dog. So, first things first. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put an arcane bolt into the slaughter brute. That's good. Ah. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead. Now I'll be able to bump one up for six damage. Is it still alive? Mm -hmm. All right. So seeing what's going on here, I'm just going to go ahead, spend a metal, and I'm going to cast Fiery Whirlwind over on the Chaos Marauders. Okay. First things first, fiery whirlwind on the marauders. Yep, oh wow, only two successes, huh? So three successes. Three successes, so both the marauders and the archers are going to take three damage. Or two damage. Uh, two damage doubled, so four damage each, sorry. Oh, they have to make a, uh... Okay, sorry. Three die. That was a terrible roll. <laughs> and they also may need to make a uh, DN5 to 
body reflex test or be knocked prone. Yep. You can yeah, still roll it, to, you just have zero for the extra die. They're knocked down, oh. but the um, difficulty is five. Oh. Because I have potent spells. Or sorry, it increases the successes by one, so it's four, and they need to be making three saves. Okay. Not two. Well, they're knocked prone. Ah, the, the agility bonuses or something, right? <laughs> and archers also need to make the save. <laughs> the archers are also knocked prone. And then go ahead, spend another metal to send one last arcane bolt into the brute. Essentially. Well, that's two successes. Bumped up to three successes for three damage. That's a shame. Yep. Everybody good with me spending another wall point? No, wait. Let me... I was going to spin that, to, so give us a heal if you want to spin us a walk point. <laughs> mm. that, one of the things often is would have been both you and me that we would have been able to cast a spell. Yes. I know, but I was going to say I want to spin the increased metal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. But I wanted to do like six attacks. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm pretty sure we still have plenty of wall left. All right. Guys, what they're six. saying is when the wall is used, it affects every single person, not just I know, you. I know, I know. I get that. Uh hmm. Besides, also, like, doing this, you would also be able to cast a free spell. Hmm. True. I was gonna do the free spell one. Oh! Okay, yeah, spin that. Yeah, so I was gonna go do that and throw out another Arcane Bolt and then Zayla, you'd be able to throw out another uh, whatever spell, yeah, you want. Let's see. Can I cast a free spell? I mean, do you have spell casting? Huh? What? I know, I know. I'm just thinking of which I want to use it on. Oh my god. Still, at least that's going to be bumped up to... Four successes, yeah. Yay! One point of damage. And that'd be my turn. Arrow! Yay! Did you get that reference? Oh, I, I was gonna control them. Yeah, I thought that it was. Yes. Yes. Whoa. No, I have to close it and reopen. <laughs> I'm looking at it. Oh, 
health. Is in the background of another picture. No, shut up. Have seven more Space Marine releases instead. No, no. I have it a release of it. No, no. Okay. No, those aren't Ultramarines. What did they do? No. Oh, no. Uh... So, so they're really all just a cum dump for Space Marines now. I was making a joke because of the Space, uh, the guy who got resurrected. <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it. Okay, where's natural initiative? What am I looking for? Toughness. Toughness, toughness. It's near the top. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. Yeah. I know. I found the toughness. It's 10. Okay. Okay. So. Days. The. Okay. So basically, the remaining swarm toughness is just the toughness that they have, which is 10. Yep. Right now. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. So this song. This song. Got gotcha. you. Well, they're in their zone, so. Uh huh. Oh, they basically attacked the entire battlefield. Yeah. Except for. I think oh. except for number five, because number five is literally and the thing. So. Um. <laughs> that being said, I actually think I the best think target. I'll have them. Okay, so they take a penalty for attacking purple. The best target might actually be the uh the slaughter brute because it's still sitting on average defense. Oh, you didn't attack it? Oh, I, I, I did attack it, it, but uh, I was gonna leave it for you. I didn't want to take all your glory, man. Oh, you go right ahead because uh, it's a <laughs> melee, and I'm a wizard, and I don't want it to be here. I know I'm messing with you. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> okay. I gotta refresh because when you deleted the message, I was hovering over the dice and it bugged my game. And so, oh, so good. with the swarm. Um, they can only attack one enemy, right? Like, you can't split them up and make them attack different things. Gotcha. Yeah. So... 
If I was to attack this, it would be like by two instead of one. All right, I'll make them shoot the fat red thing. Okay. Their accuracy. So down by one, right? So their their accuracy is good right now, so it would be average. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh random raining sword toughness ten sting a bow bonus. I noticed that they have a bonus thing right here. And then since they're not moving, they also have this. Yeah. Oh, okay. When three or more arrow boys are in the same zone, their stinger bows deal um, plus one damage per arrow boy in the zone. Um, the penetrating trait is for every degree of success. Of That's six. a lot of extra damage. So. Yeah. I need. To, is it? Is it ten? No, it's. Oh, okay. Oh, man. I was just really making sure. I didn't want to... Yeah. yeah. Really appreciating my anti-arrow spell right now. Oh, my God. Do they have a focus point? They have one focus point. So that's a 16 successes. So 17 damage. So that thing. <laughs> to the big red. So 27 damage. I think it's dead. <laughs> I just go, just go, oh hell, and step back really quick. <laughs> I was thinking of like the scene from 300, 300. but the sky it just goes black. Yeah, the sky goes, <laughs> sky goes completely dark, and when they look up, it's nothing but arrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh good, now it's only taking like what, 24 damage? Yeah. Pretty sure that might be the highest amount of damage we've seen in any of the games so far. Yeah. Swarms are scary. Fear of them. Archer swarms. Very scary. Uh, I don't know. I've seen the... With... We saw the melee ones, they can do, like, some pretty damn good damage as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. Uh. Oh, man, just imagine a swarm of 40 arrow boys. <laughs> Nice. 
Also, I mean, I have um, no issue with swarms because I essentially deal double damage. And I will say this, I think we did talk about the zombie swarm. It can go above 10. Because it's the only thing that did not have a toughness cap. Oh, you mean after the other books? Okay. Oh, can I, uh, can I say something real quick? It's, it's about my character. Um, co it's like cosmetic wise. He, well, you know how you said they're bald? Uh, he's quote unquote not bald. He has like this long barbarian hair, but you can definitely tell he just like scalps somebody and wears it as a hat. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, looking at all that. So that he quote unquote the, uh, has hair. <laughs> Um, it says that their defense is average. Well, well, that was nice having the swarm when we had it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It yep. doesn't even eight, need a bomb. It, it just. Thirteen. They're all dead. It just oh, walks up and decapitates all of them in a single attack. <laughs> well, at least we got use out of them. Alright, so doom increases for each thing it kills. That's just an extra ten doom. <laughs> Doom only increases for every soul banner, uh, soul bounce. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Say thanks, random stranger. <laughs> So I'm, I'm not wasting it. So I'm gonna just clap this booty cheek. Uh, what is its defense? Defense is good. All right, I'm superb. So I'm rolling a two. It's two. He's... Yeah, you said uh, they are good. I am superb. That's two above. So one, two. Yeah. 
So I'm going to bump up those two ones to twos, making that seven plus one. I'm going to save my elite warrior. So that's going to just be eight damage to them. Mm -hmm. Also, I did get two rending attacks from that. At least the last point of armor. <laughs> oh, really? All right, so I'll spend uh, my one metal just to finish this guy off. So it's dead. <laughs> um, I'm going to spin uh, on a, one of the wogs uh, to give everyone their metals all back. Mm, and like. for my spell, I'm going to do Unnatural Darkness. So I'm just going to roll to see how much overcasting I get. So. The spell is... All right, so this. All right, so I don't get any bonus uh, time to it. Oh wait, no, yeah, I don't. Uh, but uh, it will last for one minute, so like ten rounds or something. So it has to be cast on myself. So it's the zone, so everything in whatever zone I'm in it suffers. Uh, uh, my defense increases by one. Right. So, my defense is now superb. And I think I also get advantage... No, I get advantage on remaining hidden. Uh... And the darkness moves with me, so if I enter another zone. So. So I'm going to spin one of my mentals I got back uh, to kill the archers. Because uh, archers scary. Yeah, but I'd rather just get rid of them. And I know the two melee guys aren't going to be much of a threat. <laughs> Sometimes you just roll four ones. So, all right, so I'm bumping that up to uh, five, so six points of damage. And can I use my movement to pick up one of the shields? Uh, is that a free action or a action? That's an action? Alright, I will. I'll just end my turn. And all the... Yeah. Slowly moving my ward charge, the big guy. Right. 
Yes, the first he's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. My defense is great. Very good. Woo! My defense is great. Yep. <laughs> Very good. Mm, very good. The two are like both me and Grum. Okay. Alright. Alright, Grum's defense is great. Okay, so he's hitting twos for both of us. Yep. All right. We'll take five. Ouch. All right. So it ignores one of my armor. And, and it also destroys it one of deals. your armors. Okay. Just So that's seven Three points of time. damage you take. Seven Annoying points. two armor. <laughs> Annoying. All right. Wait, no, no. It can't, it doesn't have piercing. How does it benefit from penetrating? Really? Well, it didn't break my toughness, so... Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, you said you get. Uh, you so we get our medal back on the start of our turns, right? Yeah, but you have all your. They also did the law that gives us all our medal back. Oh, okay. He did not break either of our toughness. Alright. Alright. Oh, poor Grums, he's actually wounded. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I heard that. 
I heard what it rolled, so it wouldn't be fair. Yeah, heads. <laughs> I did say head. Grom, no, I just got you. I think he's dead, man. Because he's like only got two health left. I mean, he has one toughness and four wounds, so it's very possible he's just going to die here because everything's deadly. No, no, he didn't. Didn't he? And the Grum didn't take, hasn't taken any wounds damage yet. It got okay. close, it got real close, but Grum oh, yeah, that's never right. had to we stop got healed for three. <laughs> yep. Hey, well, he only had one toughness left, so yes. All right. So Doesn't he already have wound. a deadly wound on top of that? All right, so he... Oh, he's just mortally wounded. <laughs> All right, so he also... I don't think you can reduce Bone Splitter because he's not wearing armor. He has tattoos. So that... Down to five damage. So seven, so... 10 damage total, down to 8. He had one toughness left. I don't... I don't remember how exactly the wounds math work out, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be mortally wounded. Because he only has four wounds. So, he, before the hit... He had zero wounds. He had one toughness and two armor. Okay. Oh, then, then absolutely. He's, he's good. Then he only has four wounds, so he's absolutely a mortally wounded. Yeah, he, he's taken seven wounds straight to. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, the three bonus damage broke the toughness. So he's eating all seven damage to the wounds. Uh, no, the three. The three extra. Because the two from the armor and the one to the toughness. I know, but I'm just saying, like... He took ten damage and he had one toughness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, which I already had marked on him. All right. <laughs> yep. He's dead. Oh. All right. 
Okay. Most of the fiends are dead. <laughs> Mm. What's charging me? One of these purple things, right? Yes. Defense is superb. Armors three. If they roll a six. Okay, so... Okay. I do that in my carrot in my sheet or how do I make that number go down? Okay. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. I'm superb now that it's in the darkness. Yep. Well, I grabbed that shield, it'll be uh, extraordinary, so. <laughs> So it penetrates all my armor. So I just eat all seven damage. So that pops me down to two. 
Basically, the blessing just went bye bye in a single turn. <laughs> Nagash is never. I'm played. not dead. <laughs> Uh, so Nagash, Nagash is just always just various degrees of grumpy. Trying to give him souls, uh, but most of the things there's are demons. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. When you kill, when a champion kills, same something... kind of logic where an ogre can eat a ghost. So don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, you get, I took some damage, you get a bunch of demons. I think that's an even trade. <laughs> yes, he does. All right, Grum. You can do it, Grum. Yay! All right. Yeah. Very good. Now that's his entire turn getting back up, or can he still act? So, with the option for the wa, it was one of the things that we, if we want to spend half of our half of our wa, and then we could do the double the training and all sixes, right? Yep. The Not bestest. The bestest. Mm -hmm. I named it after what Wilkes would say. Yeah. So I want to go ahead and ask this before I roll anything or make any decisions. Uh, I'm fine with if this. If somebody were to attempt to shove the Chaos Lord, would we be able to shove him into the lava? Yeah, so, and the fun thing there is that doubling the training combined with the body and all sixes would put Grum at 11 successes. Um, you're saying body? Yeah, because it would be a mic test which goes off of body. Yeah. So Grum has oh, five okay. body and three levels of training into might, which is what's used for shoving. Oh, I don't have any might, but I do have... Six in body. So all that stuff together would give him 11 successes, and it'd be the question of, do we think the Chaos Lord can beat 11 successes? Uh, I don't I'm know. willing to take that risk. I'm willing to do that. I, I'm willing to do it as well. Plus, it'd be really cool to see Grom do a Darth Vader moment. So yeah, I think that's... Well, he's like though. mortally wounded, and he picks up the Emperor and throws him off the, the Death Star. That that is what that is what Grum's one action will be spent on trying to shove the Chaos Lord into lava. Mm -hmm. It's like a Vader versus moment. <laughs> Six. <laughs> and the lava he goes. <laughs> ah. All right. 
right? Uh, yeah. Would I be able to help with the shop? <laughs> Everything's always so mean to me. My defense is... I believe it's also great. Alright. Okay. Alright, and so then with that, my toughness is broken and I take one damage. Yep. Alright. So yeah, so DN or me. Oh, hey, look, they're all sixes, yay! Oh, yeah, whoops, sorry. Throg might be dead here. <laughs> Actually, I guess it depends on his defenses. Oh, wait. I was gonna say, wait, we've been using Wa energy, but like he's not part of our thing, so he doesn't get the Wa. No, he, he is. is. Has he not been getting the the toughness and stuff? Yeah, he has. We only healed once, and he was already at full health when we used it. <laughs> oh wow. I'm pretty sure if Throg gets hit here, he's just dead because the Hellblades are doing so much damage. Yeah, yeah. The Hellblades do ludicrous amounts of damage. That's why he went from, like, full health to no health. <laughs> he has six wounds, and they're doing, dealing, like, six damage. Gotcha. Yeah, no, like, these 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 are big. These aren't, these aren't, these aren't just, like, swarm stuff. These are heralds. I know that. It's just like, hmm, yeah. that's yeah. a lot of damage. No, that's a lot of damage. You know, as it stands, if if, if uh, Throg gets hit, he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
him, but they just need one degree of success to kill him. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's dead. dead. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's and he's and a third deadly wound. <laughs> Gotta kill. Sure is. So we gotta kill over blood reapers. Yep. Zogrok looks over at the dead man and says, "Thank you for helping." So assuming we survive this, the crowbars are going to need a new leader. Yep. I'm leaning towards the shaman. <laughs> Even then, don't do like what one damage. <laughs> okay. So they again, they the just hit test. my armor, and I just look at them, and I ha put it in my hands like shield. <laughs> One tries to charge just goes through the ghost and over the edge into the lava. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. All right. Hmm. 
so Zogrok is going to kill the thing. The, the one I just... This one. Yes, the one I pinged. Uh, do, do, do. Two. Uh, my melee is superb. So I'm rolling twos against him, right? I think you said. Is it him? And I'm superb. Yep. Okay. Yeah, put me and you, the demons, all on twos. <laughs> Melee bullets, nothing. Um, so that's eight, nine, nine successes. So 12 damage. He is gonzo. And then, can I use metal to charge? It's it's an action. This blood reaper. Focus on this thing because I can kill that next. Also, it goes before you, and I'd rather yeah, yeah, not yeah. It go and start wreaking havoc. So I'm going to spend my metal. And I'm going to charge that fool. Right. While screaming. <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> And then smack. So that's. Nice. Still, are we still again. under the effect of the whole double training all sixes? I mean, I think it is until your turn. I thought it only affected you. No, oh, wait, no, no, no. Law. Yeah. Uh, oh. it, go it goes to tell whenever Throg's uh, turn was. Uh, no, it wasn't Throg that while it was, um... Oh, uh, Grom. 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 Yeah, so... Yeah, so... Um, I don't... I don't need that much damage. <laughs> that doesn't matter, you're taking it! <laughs> okay, so... How many is that? Yeah. Well, nine plus nine is... Nine. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Oh, I was talking about with the the bestest. Uh, and you're also leveling, going with your training up as well, doubling that. And your focus is doubled. <laughs> Double twelve? Not not twelve. Double nine or double twelve? No, it's double. It's six. So you go six plus. Wait, you 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 you're doing thirteen points of damage to the uh, in. Oh wait. Double the training. Yeah. So it would be six. Because training is three plus three is six. And. It's 15. He does 15 points of damage. Very complex math right now. <laughs> you would deal a total of murder. So 18, 18 total. Yeah. I know. I'm just making sure. I like to keep numbers. It makes things faster. Uh, Okay. 
Okay, so first things first, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh Oh, were you gonna say something? So I'm not gonna whack it, I'm gonna put an arcane bolt into it for eleven damage. So, the wolf is going to help Grum with the grapple. Yes. Yay! I... It is not. That is a shame. I will. Now, the thing is, is that if I wanted to shoot the Chaos Lord, it'd be risking hitting Grum, right? Alright. Yeah, so I, I would kill... I would kill Grum. Well, what's the risk chance? But if we're all rolling six, is it? Doesn't that just negate the depth? Okay. So it rolled increased the difficult four, so it increased to five. And I'm rolling all sixes. Yeah. And this ability is powerful. Because, you see, then what's stopping from just going ahead and putting 22 damage into the uh, Chaos Lord's back? <laughs> With two more Arcane Bolts. Yeah. Yeah. It is. The first half of the roll. Energy. So, you know, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put just 22 damage into the Chaos Lord. Oh, kill still. Hey, I had the kill stole kill stolen from me last time. I'm taking this one. Twenty two damage. How many attacks are you doing? <laughs> uh, that'd be two more spell attacks, and that'd be the rest of my metal. All right, so you get to shave off his armor three times. <laughs> On that 22. Or, uh, uh, only, only two attacks are going on to him. So he gets hit by two instances of, of 11 damage. Okay, so... So whatever his armor is... I am. So it'd be going off of my mind channeling. I have five mind and three training and channeling for eight. So then that eight plus turns another to three... 11. For eleven. Yeah. Also, he gets he gets hit by two things of eleven damage. All right. Now, is that off the first bolt or the second bolt? Total of 22 split into two instances of 11. Yeah, but you yeah. get to double your well, armor. I'm casting the spell twice, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, 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 okay. Total of 22. There we go. Probably the second one. Arcane Bolt does not pierce armor. 
It took 16 points of damage. No, no, he, you double his uh, armor because he's getting two hits. It's 16. So it would be the second bolt that broke his toughness. It does say once a day, so he can't use it multiple times. Yeah, so I would say essentially, with, since he rolled the six, he's essentially acting as if he has 16 toughness, is how I read it. Yeah. But his toughness is broken. Okay. All right. I'll move into this zone. <laughs> and that's my turn. All right. So she is going to crump this guy because she, she's hitting him for uh, 11 points of damage. And she's going to move and charge. Yep, going to spend a mental to charge, putting my thing at extraordinary. So I'm hitting at... Oh, okay. It just gives um, you an extra d6 on your attack. Okay, okay, well, all right. Well, Brandon's not Grump's turn yet, at... so you're still rolling all sixes. Yep. Yep, so that wrong. automatically hits for now. Uh, so that has an extra dice, and that puns my 11 to 12. And she is going to use Elite Warrior, turning that 12 to 14. Basically just charging and stabbing him in the back and saying, Nekish will have your soul. I'm going to twist the blade just for extra effort. <laughs> Get crumped. <laughs> that was a good crump thing. Get crumped, nerd. Get crumped, nerd. Uh, that was another fun fact. 
Little cowards attacking us while we sleeping. Sound off. Looks like we lost two. Oh, yeah. Oh. Speaking of speaking about dying, the other guy died. <laughs> it looks like it's just us five left. Okay, we Another rest. Moment. At least we recover a little bit of our of significant strength. value on the Chaos Lord. Speaking of Chaos Lord, did his body disappear like everybody else? Oh no, the, the human was still here. Or was he still here? Oh no, I just want I was to just checking the, the Chaos Lord. <laughs> <laughs> like I want I, I want to take the Chaos Lord's head as a trophy and like mount it to my belt armor. Uh, no. But that's First of all, I would make sure he's. That's why I'm it. saying it before I do it. It's like I want to do this. Is that okay with others? Everything I killed disappeared. <laughs> What's the problem with demons? They just disappear. I put it on my belt. I want to inspect uh, his armor and weapons and see if they're like tainted. Alright, would throwing, would I know if uh, throwing it in the lava destroy it or something? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? That's a great idea. All right. Nah. <laughs> so his weapon is a demon weapon. You don't want to pick that up. <laughs> um. And so we can't like so. Throwing the Chaos Lord into the lava will activate bad. Yep. I Even guess my person would be like... My person would probably be like, Nakash. Well, is it the weapon that's causing the, the bad, or is it him himself? It's the weapon. But his armor might be corrupt, and might have a demon in it as well. Oh. Yeah. Hey, no, no, thank you. So I'd be like, no cash, this chaos. Yeah, it will take. I'm pretty sure that's just called warp stone. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it'll eat you. But my character wants to like, yeah, have the armor and the weapon purified by Nagash, claim the souls within it. He can't take the souls out. No. Uh, what does he tell me to do with the weapons and armor so that it... All right. He said, do not touch. Alright. We must hide this body so that no one will find it again. Oh, that's wrong. It could be anything and everything. Lava won't work. Even Corn himself. Lava won't work. It'd just be funny. You throw it in there and then Corn comes out. It's like, surprise, motherfuckers. It's like, oh. <laughs> 
Mm. Not lava. Won't work. How about we not? How about we not touch? How? That's a good idea, actually. I like that idea. <laughs> no, no. Hey, no. I'm with Grom. Let's eat Take it. Take the armor off, yes. We're gonna string him up as a warning for any other spiky boys who think they want to challenge us. Exactly. Go ahead. <laughs> so, so what you're Last telling four. me is we can't take armor off and eat man? Yes. Mm. I joined the other one then. <laughs> He's going to go help him eat people. Frozen. Mm. You and me should use magic to disband. Can we dispel the demon weapon? I have unbind. Oh, okay. Okay. So Zogrok and Grum. So you would then start it and I would help you. Lisa! <laughs> It's fine. It's just suddenly Lisa. What would it? What would it be for? Uh, for unbinding. All right. Now, is there the risk of breaking the weapon and unleashing whatever's inside free on a failed dispel? All right. Well, I am end. helping you. Oh, okay. What was the DN for the channeling? All right. So then I also get an extra 1d6 from the help. Uh, I have two training, so that would be an extra two. Oh, okay. One more. All that together, and I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to hit it. One more. Nope. All right, actually, with that, then in the focus points, I'd be able to get the five successes. Yep. Alright. Alright, cool. So we did it. Yay. Okay, so... When I do the thing with the stuff at the top of the mountain, this chamber, this in, is this in the way of the of the, the everything that's gonna happen? When all the thing it's gonna happen. All right. I'm a nomad. I don't need to sleep. Well, would you be able to at least take a breather for 10 minutes? <laughs> Let's do that and get our toughness back. Alright. Oh, where's the body of that giant red thing? It's in the lava. It was kicked into the lava. <laughs> um... I was gonna eat that. Such a waste, That's of, a food. waste of food. I know. <laughs> I'd want to eat it. 
Uh, yep. Yep. Is it going upwards or downwards? Okay. Which part? <laughs> um I already had my religious experience for the day. Yeah, that's where all the chaos guys came from. Alright, so more we'll chaos guys come out during the fight in there. Let's go crump the rest of them. Take back my mountain. Okay. Can I go raid the kitchen for food? Not right now. <laughs> How much longer are we going to be running tonight? Okay. Beautiful. All right, so a Lord of Change appears. <laughs> okay. Oh, please. I count as two or three people. No. <laughs> Especially if they're, like, larger than me. I count as, like, even more people. Oh, switches. Switch, switch, switch. Oh, no. Mm. That's easy. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright. Would we be able to just smash through the gate? I could. I mean, try. Is there a logic test? <laughs> I don't see a logic, so what would that be under? <laughs> while they're reading, can I just roll to see it? Yeah, well, while we, yeah, the ghost is there, the skeleton's trying to read the stuff. Uh, both, I'd be willing to assist trying to smash down the gate. Okay. Right. And I have two training and might. Oh, hey, I, I have a hammer. Oh. So I'll go ahead and let him use my hammer to try and smash the gate. Is it a two-handed? It is a two-handed hammer. Oh, hell yeah. I get my freaking thing with this. Look at that. Three successes. the runes here oh, okay so Alright. Uh, I will. Um, 
Can I just roll my, because uh, he said he's going to let me use his hammer, and it's a two-handed hammer. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. What's the target? Okay. Okay. And, um, I don't think any of my things would matter right now, right? Mm-hmm. Um, just the one that gives me a plus one to two handed weapons. And That's then, good. like, I don't think is. That's already calculated in. Well, it's a, it's a door, so it doesn't have, like, uh, sizes, right? Because, well, I'm, oh yeah, it says creatures, never mind. I was like, creatures larger than you, and I was like, oh wait. Okay, so, target DN is four. So that's, uh, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. Uh, seven successes. Ten damage. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna guess that. It didn't make it simple where it's like this one goes to that, this one goes to this, and you know. Yeah. So I'm gonna go maybe like okay. First one probably goes to Lisa's champion, so I'll pull that. Alright. I'm gonna guess. This one's a, a dud. This one is probably the liar. Or oh, which order was the which one was the liar? <laughs> this one. Okay. So I'm gonna skip those two and I'm gonna pull no no. Pull this one. Alright. Okay. Hmm. I'll pull that one. Hey, look, you hit it hard enough, it opened. Yeah, I did it. Here's your hammer pack. Mm. See, we don't need dumb old leather. Blue work. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Alright, the shiny's uh. probably a trap. My armor costs more than this room. It's what... It's what he believes. He believes that all this stuff in this room is useless. I'm gonna take a look at some of the coins around us. Are they dwar- are they of dwarven make? <laughs> like Dungeon use- hoard. We can use this stunty gold to set up a trap. We can use this for like. They don't use this much gold for stunty gold. They actually sell it for better stuff. It's all for the money. Yes. I'm gonna approach the uh the sarcophagus up there. Oh. Oh. Uh. Was 
is right. the Okay. Oh man, that means they gave the blood kiss to a dwarf, I'm sure Nagash is real happy about that. Well, I thought dwarves, uh, female Amazing. dwarves had a beard. I think female dwarves had, like, beards that were bigger than the dudes. Uh. Oh, okay. No, he's not. Well, <clears throat> since the magma drop soul bound us to this one, I'd be like, this one seems familiar. As uh, we uh -huh. get like a feeling to them. Zogor. Well, so oh. I don't think hmm. Zogor. Zogor uh, okay. um, whispers, and he's like, I didn't know vampires came in fun size. Is can we? No. Eat it? no. Look at it. Our wall is falling apart. We need all the help we can get. Mm. I, I say we make it an honorary member. Yeah. This is so unthinking. This is literally unthinking. Unthinking. Someone who might be able to walk around with the stunties. It's a good idea. But don't yeah. eat the stunties. Well, we do. But. The stunties are in the walls. <laughs> we need to get them out. We'll just smash the walls. Yeah. Nine tails. Yeah. It's a very noticeable event having a chaos spawn in the place. Yeah. And it... Still, it is it is late enough that I need to be heading on off, so it, this does also yeah. seem like it could be a good oh. place to pick up, and hopefully yeah. Nightingale will be able to join us next session. <laughs> It's just in front of the chest. Metal. It's shiny. Oh. There's more shinies inside of the chest? What chest? The, the various chests around the entire room? Probably, yeah. Hey, there's a hammer over there. I thought that was an axe. <laughs> no, the axe is over here. Oh. Okay, nice little hammer. Is that two-handed? 
Looks like that's a golden shield. I don't know why you would want that. <laughs> to flex on poor people. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. I might so pick that is, up. And... <laughs> is that hammer um, two-handed? Looks one-handed. Damn. I thought I was going to become freaking Mario. Do, 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 do. No, I can more. pick blocks with um, Frozen's hammer. Believe it or not, I have Guile. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. no, I don't. I have Intimidate. <laughs> I mislooked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes. Last two gained one. And I lost all my arrow boys. <laughs> oh. By two? You're down by two, but you are up by one. Oh, okay. So we just have one now because we only had two left. <laughs> no, no. Total. Total so fire. No. Ah, okay. Two members. I got you. Yeah, seven. I put it down to five because now it's frozen. Me, nine tails, tomato, and Grom. Yeah. I it's love him already. Me. I already oh. love him so much more than Zogzak. I will look back up at him, and especially with the face of, get down here, you're my new helper, Grot. Dear little Grotty, come down to Poppy. I... What are you looking, looking for? No. So, so Grok just checks the bottom. Big of spider, his little spider. <laughs> so Grok checks the bottom of his feet just to make sure. Yeah. Web spinner shaman. <laughs> I'm just going to lean over him, imposing and towering. I'm the boss of this new mountain. And who are you? Oh. 
Well, I don't know. That's not. No. Listen, the boss asked who you are, not what you are. Hmm. Careful. This one is tricky. Right. Hey, don't Rich. Stage. Okay, use another sneaky one. Ways I seize it. Yours in my mountain. So that mean. But you're in my mountain. Well, you're trespassing, so now you belong to him. Good job. Congratulations. Woohoo. Isn't it? It is. We do. I mean, he does. We? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. You got a tribe? I do have a tribe. Far but the best of them. Some don't speak of the tribe. Ha! <laughs> Not anymore. Like a bitch. Indeed. No. Well, what do you expect? They they want to make they just want to make all work of their poster chairs. <laughs> we are the space marines. I mean, sick marines. <laughs> we are the sick marines. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Lovely. <laughs> Tells you what, I likes ya. Not every day a grot doesn't just immediately throw themselves at the feet and trembling out with something bigger. You got fire in ya. I like that. I'm putting together a war. I am, and as it turns out, my little local goblins just lost their just lost their leader. Undead. She is new, we just met her. Just crawl out of the box back there. 
Also, I was just called as reinforcement, so I don't know what you're talking about, soul bound, but yeah. I think. Yeah. What about him? Yeah. It's a strong fighter. Really you are now part of my honor guard. Okay. <laughs> Lots of traps, spiders, I'm guessing, as well. But I smashed those for fun. Hmm. This one is different than normal guards. It's probably got something really nasty planned. Hmm. Tells you what. He still got business. Maybe you'll keep your head on longer than the last grot. I like him. I don't, I don't tell. Oh, good. Kleptomaniac Grot. <laughs> I mean, I did give her that when I turned to a Grot. <laughs> Still. So we have six members. Oh. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Either way, I need a head on all. You guys have all a right. good night. Hey. Bye, Bye, That was a rough fight. And yeah. I know how deadly I am, and I like it. <laughs>